Hello, my name is Kiki Wanshura. I'm a regional director with RPR. In case you forgot, RPR is a tool that is included as part of your association membership. I'm here to help you unlock its potential for your business. Every real estate client is looking for property data, and don't worry, there's plenty of it out there. But what tips the scales is where they get that data, the depth of the data presented, whether it's actually digestible, and how it's delivered. For that and more, RPR reports cover all of your bases. Today, I'm going to show you three of the reports RPR has to offer, how to enhance and customize them, and how to email, print, and text them as well. Let's hop in. For the property you want to create a report for, start on the property summary page. Now let's create a sample property report, market activity report, and a school report. The property report is a comprehensive look at an individual property, including detailed property information, historical listing photos, local market statistics, listing activity, foreclosure activity, neighborhood demographics, and much more. The market activity report is a snapshot of all the changes in a local real estate market. It includes all market activity summary and a listing of active, pending, sold, expired, and distressed properties. Recent price changes and upcoming open houses are also included. And finally, the school report summarizes student population testing outcomes, and community information about a public or private school. And special for ABOR members, all listings in Williamson and Travis counties have direct links to RPR school reports for all schools and ISDs. It's true, these reports are fantastic, but you need to customize them so your clients know who they came from. Let's take a look at how to do that. Directly from the reports page, you can take a look at your profile and edit it. Click View Full Profile on the bottom right. Much of this information is going to be pulled from your Matrix account, but at the very least, you want a nice photo and your company logo. When you've made your changes, remember to click Save at the top or at the bottom of the page. Back on the reports page, you'll see a sample report to customize above where you just updated your profile information. Click this to add any personal or company pages that you'd like to add to your reports. For example, you could do a testimonial page or a bio page about yourself. You're almost there. Let's get a copy of this report and send it to your clients. Steps three and four here are where you'll add your client's name and choose if you'd like to directly download the report for yourself or go ahead and make your client's day by emailing it to them. If you download your report, give the system a couple of minutes to crank up and throw all this information together in a beautiful format. Learn more about all of these report types, sign up for a webinar, or access our on-demand video library at blog.narrpr.com and click on the training tab. Thank you for your time today.